Chinese have for quite a while managed the value of their currency and uh, effectively pegged it to the U.S. dollar or controlled the exchange rate uh, in a way that has kept it from rising to the level with regard to the U.S. dollar that market forces would have determined. You know it's, bef it's below where market forces would have it because they spend a lot of money managing the exchange rate to keep it where it is. Uh, members of Congress, uh, some years back, really began to focus on that issue and to say that that was the cause of the sharp imbalance uh, in the U.S.-China bilateral trade relationship. Uh, it sounds uh, plausible that if China would increase the value of the renminbi vis-a-vis -vis the U.S. dollar, that it would correct our trade balance. The reality is, for a series of complicated reasons, that's wrong. Uh, it would have a minor impact on our trade balance, uh, but not a significant impact. For, from the perspective of a member of Congress, it's politically very attractive because it effectively says the imbalance in our trade is all due to the Chinese and is due to one policy where they can flip a switch in Beijing and correct everything. So the U.S. doesn't have to do anything. We don't have any responsibility for this. And so not surprisingly, this bill uh, has come up in various guises over the years, has never passed. I think if it had passed uh, in, in previous years, the president would have, would have vetoed it as a wrong-headed bill. What I worry about is next year I think it might pass because next year it might be a bill that is uh, sponsored uh, in a fashion uh, that in an electoral year it will carry. And whether President Obama will feel politically he can veto it given, again these are a lot of ifs, but if Mitt Romney is a Republican nominee and he's running on a straight critique of Obama's economic policies, he's already indicated the first thing he would do on his first day of office is designate China as a currency manipulator. So in that context, uh, I don't know whether President Obama would sign a bill or not. Uh, what I am confident of is if we sign the bill, it will cause an enormous amount of trouble in U.S.-China trade relations and fundamentally will not significantly rebalance our bilateral trade deficit. I think there are other areas. Market access in China, Chinese investment in the United States, a variety of things that are more difficult, more complicated, but also far more important for balancing our bilateral trade relationship.